back to my YouTube channel, it's Dawn here. So today we are doing a room tour. Um, so I have finally finished sorting it out. It has taken um, a couple of weeks, um, but we've done a really, really big push towards the end. So I have currently got you on a tripod, but I think I'm gonna have to lift it up so that you can see um, bits and pieces. Um, so I'm hoping we're not gonna be too um, wobbly. So here is my door. So there's my kitchen, as you can see. Um, so as we walk in, this is my desk area. Um, so this is where I do all of my um, creating. Um, so as you can see, um, it has lots and lots and lots of stuff around it, um, which is stuff that I use a lot. Um, so I try and have everything to hand um, where I can. Um, now down um, here is my drawers. Now you can hear Peter Potter. It is our lovely Quincy. He is not settling because he is him. Um, so I'm going to start off with this uh, cupboard. So in this cupboard is all of my polymer clay stuff. Um, so these two containers here are full with clay. And then I have all of my tools, everything up on top. So that used to be filled with a top of beads. Um, but I am de-stashing lots and lots of beads very soon. So um, yeah, <laughs> um, which honestly, I think I had way too many. And then we have, so I do apologise if this is making anyone feel really sick. Um, so I'm just coming down to my drawers. Um, so in the top drawer is no longer my punches. Um, that is just a junk drawer at the minute um, of bits that I don't have places for. But this is all my Nouveau mousses. Um, these are all my different mixed media pastes, so all my souffles, um, texture pastes, and um, things like that. I've got my watercolour pens and gelatos in here, and watercolour paints, um, so everything in there. Then I've got, in this one is acrylic paint, which is all sort of different brands, and then in this one is mainly um, the stuff that I bought from the works which is actually just a crafter's choice is this one and then just a palette if I need it um this drawer has my refills for my label gun um my scissors I've got some um oh, velcro dots I've got a little Star Wars pencil sharpener there um, and here is my mica powders um, and my embossing powders and some inks. This is my adhesive drawer, so lots of different adhesives in there. Um, this is my watercolours, so these are my palettes. Now I've got to try and move my drawer out of the way. When I open it, I've got to sort of push it down. Um, to open it but because I'm one-handed I can't um, but in there in this um, tub is my cosmic shimmer watercolors I've got um, watercolor crayons I've got my uh, gouache behind there they're my Winsor Newton ones um, I've got watercolor inks um, I've got my uh, powders so yeah that's all in there this one is all my punches well not all of them but some of them and then in here, there's some tools just for loads and loads of different things. So that's underneath my desk. And for the first time in a very long time, I have nothing under there except my sew kit. So that's my sew kit. And there is a black box just underneath um, my ribbons. That's actually currently empty. There's nothing in there. And then in these three boxes is just some embellishments. So that is underneath my desk, which I think is really, really cool. So, um, I'm just going to pause for a moment and then, um, yeah, <laughs> I'll come back and we'll look at the desk. Okay, so we are back. Um, so, this corner of my desk is um, pretty much a mess, but um, it is on the top of my lamp. So, this is my lamp that I use for lighting. Um, you'll see that there's a, um, an old tea towel. They're my rags. So, I have them just hung over my lamps. So I've got two lamps and on both of them they, there is rags over them and that's just because they're easy access and then if they have bits and pieces on it's not getting all of my work surface. But yeah. Um, 
I have pencil cases in the corner with spare pens and things in. Um, I've got a little unit there. That's just got my nail varnish in. Um, in here, um, this is all my Distress Oxides. Um, my glue sticks, just, yeah. Um, there is cards. There's my glue sticks uh, just there. Um, these cards have been gifted to me. I've got loads of cards that I need to put up back off my wall, up on my walls um, where... Um, unfortunately, um, they've been taken down where I have been uh, socked in. So yeah, um, these are my grey Copic markers that I have. They don't, unfortunately, they don't fit um, on here. So I've just put my, my grey up there. I then have above that, I'm so, so sorry. Oh, sorry if I'm making you feel sick. I am not the steadiest of people. Um, so this is here, this is um, two cabinets my husband put on the wall for me. It's got boards, embellishments, uh, pins, needles, washies, um, even my plasters, <laughs> um, Velcro, wooden elements, loads and loads of little bits. So I tend to, if I get any um, gifts or pocket letters, I tend to uh, decanter them in there so that um and that's my go-to place and then just on top i have some stuff that people have made me and gifted me which i think yeah um I, like i said i do have some more stuff i just um i need to to put it around so come in here um if you all saw it that canvas is from donna and julia creates um which was really fun now in here in these ones this is my new organization for my scrap card um and it is working really really well um but it is getting moved from there my husband's going to build me a new storage unit which i will talk about when we get uh, when we get to it um in this corner is all my um flowers my um wands everything people have made me so that's that uh, coming down on my desk so this is in front of me um right i do apologize if I, like i said i'm trying my hardest to stop this from being super super wobbly and i can see that i'm failing very very miserably so i do apologize okay so over here is all my Copic pens, really easy to get hold of. Have my Gemini, which sits next to me. This just has cotton buds in and a few little bits of embellishments, um, just bits that are on my desk that I tidy up. Um, I have all my Distress inks here. There's a couple of oxides that are there, but um, they do need moving over. So I tend to use my inks more than I do my oxides. So I find that having them in front of me is so much better um this is my oh this is my cd player um this is my um cup for holding all of my um brushes um my blending brushes and a few other bits that i um use in this here this is all so this one's my gel pens um, and all of the rest are watercolours. So these are watercolour pens. They're, those are Echolines. They're my um, ink tents and these are Aquaflow pens. And then these are all my glitter pens. And then there's just a few random bits that I sort of have on top. Um, on this centre bit here is just my mini ink pads and my re refills from my black ones. And then I've just got some pens and stuff there. And this little tube that's coming out here. That's just my hand cream. Um, and then this part here. So this is my stamp cleaner, um, which I've just recently bought. I have my blending mat and I also have my mini score tools. Um, this, um, it tells you more or less what's on, but I, I do need to um, do another couple of labels. So I've got some paint markers in there from Arteza, which I've just got. Um, I did get them in April, so um, I'm still doing well on my main or spend, so yeah, all good. The trays on top, that is all projects that I have planned to record. And then my notice board, as you'll see, is just absolutely full, so I keep my paintbrushes up there. Um, I keep all of my stencils and stuff um, on there. And then right at the top, there's my picture, and it's a silk painting of Gollum, which my daughter bought me for Christmas a few years ago, which I absolutely love. So he sits there. Um, and then coming over here, so this top um, unit 
has some flowers that I've made and then it's got my envelope board, it's got crochet hooks on it, it's got my um, glitter tray that um, catches glitter or your embossing powders, um, it's got my mini die cut machine, um, yeah and it's got some folders with some other projects in. Um, in this top cabinet just behind, so um, let me just move the light out of the way. So that, so up there, um, in that lemon box, that's all the six by six paper pads I plan on using by the end of the year. And then underneath it, in that other box, is more six by six paper pads that are just overflowing. So, um, yeah, I need to, I need to really go through that and maybe think about having a little a D stash. So, um, I'm doing really, really badly at this. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, I have my lazy Susan. Um, which my friends have bought me for my birthday and I decorated it myself so it was a kit that you build which is awesome and then you can just oh just to say see uh, so in here these are my embossing plates I've got my trimmer I've got my 12 by 12 uh, scoreboard in there I've got my little printer there of my daughter and um, this one's my other printer so yeah everything's everything is to hand which is just fabulous and as you can see up here is um some more rugs so when i'm working i have plenty of rugs around me to keep things clear right so let's go on to the next bit it is absolutely packed full of goodies in here but i love it so let's take you right up to the top so as you can see there is some projects up there that i just absolutely love on shore um but the first uh, cabinet, that is all of my journals that I am working on currently. The one next to it is um, just memories and a few other bits um, that I have. In this um, bottom one here, I've got some more journals I'm working on. And then behind it is a lot of die cut kits and um, paper kits and things. Here is... So this is a mix. Um, I've got my Project Life cards. I've got some journaling books. These are my Dina Wakeley books. I've got the At Aquarium sticker book that I got for our lovely Laura. My Supernatural postcards, which again, I love some, um, oh, what are they called? Canvases. And then these folders behind it, they are actually all of my digis um, for GMC Designs. So that's where I go for them. Um, so up in this next one, that is all blank books in that one. So that's where I go if I need a new book. All my 12 by 12s, again, more 12 by 12s. And then this is just cards that I have made and then little tub of crayons that my daughter um, gifted me. Um, this is just um, bits and pieces, random bits and pieces. This is all mixed media. Um, this love sign, oh, my friend made it for me, which I just absolutely love. And then I've got some more, this is like fake snow and yeah, just more bits and bobs. Of like, um, I'm trying to think, uh, watercolour paper and, and, and stuff like that. So you can see that some people's cards have survived and they haven't fallen off. So um, yeah, so now let's go on to, so I'm just going to put pop you down again and let's move you up. Oh. Um, let's have a look in the cupboards. So in this first cupboard, we have, um, in this box is all A5 papers. And then next to it is all of like, um, Marami Small Art paper kits and other daft paper kits. Um, and then we have this one. So this one, um, I have to be careful because... There is a new release, so let me just, yeah, right, I'm just going <laughs> to do that so you can't see, make sure you can't see. So this is all GMC design stuff, so yeah, um, we won't go too much into there because I don't want to get myself into trouble because there is a new release on its way. Um, hopefully, yeah, I think it's Monday the 17th a new release comes out. In here again is all of my um, kits. So, yeah, and in this last one, um, in there, again, is all 
my kits and all um, and all different like papers and die cut sheets and all sorts so that's where they all are um coming back over so let's go down one right trying to keep it oh sorry <laughs> um oh i'm so terrible at this i do apologize guys um my tripod needs to be i need to get a new one i think right hopefully you can see so in here is stuff that i reach for all of the time so we've got um I have my um, stamping platform, I've got all my peel-offs, um, I've got a few kits that I want to do, um, I've got my A4 journaling um, thing in there, and I have my um, 3D foam in there. So that is that. So then moving on to the drawers, in this top drawer is all mixed media, in this drawer it's all bits of ribbon. In this drawer, it is bits that have been gifted to me and flowers. And yeah, that's just like a random drawer. This one is all washies. All my noodle drops. Um, this one, again, a random a random drawer of random bits. I think this is, um, of the, oh, this is stuff that I have made. And then this is all of my glitters so that's those drawers um also sat next to me is here so this is the bottom tub that is my um all of my cord and then in here is all of my sprays and just a few random bits um like my doilies um, my tissue paper and um, there's napkins in there so that's all really easy to get to in the bottom one is my um trimmer um, all of my metal embellishments and then the box on top of that with the blue handle that one is actually currently empty <laughs> which is awesome in the green box that's all packaging so I won't bore you with that um, and in those three boxes these are literally all of my wooden elements and a sleep in her bed um, let's see if we can focus her up so asleep in her bed it's our little lady so i won't show you in that cupboard but that cupboard actually i think is currently empty which is awesome so yeah um so in this cupboard is my eight by eights and 12 by 12s so that's that now i'll just have to point to these because i really don't want to disturb our lovely little lady so in here is all of my um what's it called grey boards um in this one is beads that one's beads and then at the bottom this one and this one and this one is all beads i have a lot of beads that one's empty and that one is empty so yeah i have three empty cupboards so far which well at present so um, i'm sure they'll get filled with something um now this trolley the gray trolley that is all my stamps that i have decided to keep they were absolutely overflown um so now it looks nice and tidy so i can get in so much better i do need to restamp them and have another and, and make another um little catalog for myself but i will do that in a few weeks um and in here is all of my dies so that's all my dies i have got rid of a few of them again there will be de stashes i have been asked on my facebook group to do it in june um as most of us are on a no spending so and um, my de stashes will be in june but i will give people notice um so that's that on the window ledge this is my birthday box um this is stuff that i have made and uh, they're my diamond arts paintings i've got nowhere else to go now this here this is actually a giveaway as soon as i hit 2000 that is one of the giveaways there is another two boxes within the room that are also for giveaways as well so um this is my big laser printer my inkjet printer actually currently lives upstairs in my bedroom and then down here is everything to do with printers so um that's actually my spare that's uh the pink bag that holds my refills for my Corpix. 
this wooden box this is the ink for the printer and then in here is all the different um card stock so we've got 200 gsm 160 there's two drawers at 100 and then the bottom one is stickers and then this here this is mainly my a3 card stock so um yeah because it worked out cheaper now behind this um is a lot of silversmithing tools so i can't really get in there and show you them um without pulling everything out but i will show you the rest so this cupboard hall and this cubby hall this is actually this um one here it's going to be a, a video on my channel very soon um so those are christmas um up here that is my little oven that i have here is more ink for my printer and just my a6 um storage and then these two have already been on my printer um, these two are um, envelopes. This one is um, more Christmas bits and pieces that I didn't know what to do with. This is all my card bases. And then this box underneath, this is the new Alice in Wonderland box. So I haven't put that away because I haven't done any videos with it yet. Uh, because I wanted to tidy up this room. Um, in here, um, so this little tub here is my material that I have left. My, uh, and then above it is um, my punches. I just need another one of these baskets and then I'll put the rest of my punches in. And then I have my um, laminator there as well. Um, up here is um, stuff that I've made ready to uh, gift out. So I've got um, on my new uh, Facebook group, um, I've asked if anybody would like them. I'll put them in a drawer and then I'll draw some names. Now, this is all flowers, just flowers. There's nothing else in there other than flowers. Absolutely hundreds. I couldn't bear to get rid of any, so I didn't. Um, now, this box, this is a giveaway as well. And there is something next to it, which um, thankfully you can't see because uh, it would give away what it is. Um, that's going to be a giveaway as well. Uh, this is just a magazine rack with all my magazines on. And then I've got in here, um, this is all my lace. This one is my Love From Lizzie kits. And this one is currently empty, but that will start the next lot of Love From Lizzie kits. And then below that is literally just packaging. Um, so it's just boxes and things because I like to keep them. So I've got myself in a little bit of a pickle. And I'm trying to walk around our lovely little lady. There's my bin. This is the size of bin I've had to buy because our lovely lady decided that she was going to continuously pinch everything out. How terrible is that? So, now this is all of my card. So this is just plain card stock. Um, and this is it all. Um, what my husband's going to do, because um, it is tipping slightly because of the weight of the card, there is a lot of it. Um, he's going to build a unit very similar to the Kalax, because unfortunately the Kalax don't fit these in. Um, and he's going to build shelves around each set of five so that I can have all of these on wooden support as well as in the black bits, which gives them um the the chance for them to be a draw um and it means the other two with my scrap card stuck in can go on there as well would you like to see my husband <laughs> i won't tell you what he's just done so um let's come round very quickly he's actually cooking tea this evening which is awesome i'm just going to come into my kitchen oh the, the little lady again there's my stove that's the stove that i use to get on top of everything um, so yeah, like I said, I'm so, so sorry if this has been super shaky. Um, I am rubbish at doing these. I think, um, I might need a cameraman next time and then I just do a voiceover. I think, <laughs> but yeah, I hope, like I said, I hope that I haven't made you sick, but this is my craft space, doesn't it? Look, for me, my husband said it still looks cluttered. It still looks really busy, but for me, it looks empty and amazing and happy and oh i just love it i absolutely love it oh, it's, like a little giraffe. <laughs> it's just such a happy place to be and i cannot wait to sort of say so i'm trying to go around to my desk so there you go there's my desk area isn't that just awesome i am filming this on my ipad 
because my camera has to be plugged in unfortunately oh it's so lovely anyway thank you everybody so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this uh craft room tour um yeah and i cannot wait um how bad is this so i took just there can you see so i took the the um backing layer off my love from lizzie heart peel off and i really didn't want to get rid of this because i thought that would be really nice so i've stuck it to my light so that i can use it in something how bad is that um i couldn't bear to get rid of it because how nice it would that be as texture so yeah how sad i know but yeah anyway i'll stop rabbiting on now isn't it just lovely yeah, it's my happy place. It might not seem like much, but it is. It's my happy place. I'm happy. <laughs> right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you again very soon in another video. But until then, do stay safe and happy crafting.